I introduce how to use the HDDS software. First, please use the default admin as the username and the password to log in. Submit. When you see this interface, there be the top part is for the mini menus, the home, material programs, and system setting and logs memory and business. And in the central part, there be many four main functions. First, you can upload the material. You can edit the program based on this material. You can send the program to the kiosks. And then, last part, you can monitor the playing status, playing status for the, each kiosk. And the left bottom part is the networking status. You can check, you can see how many pieces of kiosk is online and the and also how many pieces is offline. A small remark. If you want to see control the online kiosks, you should use our licensed USB dongle inside to the PC and then you will control the online kiosks. Okay, right now I will show you how to make a program and release it. First I need to upload some materials. You see here, this will be all the materials you can upload. The audio, the TV means the video, MNG means the pictures, the flash, pom pom, word, Excel, and PDF. Okay, I will upload uh, some video first. Go to the TV and go to add. And then you see upload button. If you cannot, cannot see this upload button, I have a small suggestion for you. Go to the IE Brown setup, the tooling. Go to the compatibility setup. And put this, this web sign. 0 0.3 to the list. And then you will see this upload button. When you choose this upload button, choose the video you want to upload. I want to choose this audio. And then when this finished uploading, you will see this will be complete. This words will show here. And then you choose save. Okay. By this way you can see the audio already uploaded. And and I also want to upload some pictures. Go to the MG. The same. Go to the add. And then go to the upload. Choose the pinches you want to upload it. I want to choose these three pinches. And finish complete. And I will choose save. Close the window. You can see these three pinches already uploaded. So by this way, I have uploaded all this material at once. And then I right, go to make a program based on these materials. Go to program and then go to add program. You should name the program first. Let's say I want to use test and choose the resolution. Remember this is very important. This resolution should be the same as the kiosk, the kiosk panel. So if I'm using the floor standing kiosk, kiosks uh, I choose this resolution 1080 times 9020 and add it. So I will go to the narrow button to make this gray part smaller. This gray part will be the same screen as the kiosks. So what will be shown here it will be the same it will be showing the kiosks. So I will choose the video TV, I will choose this vi the video I just uploaded and add to the list. I choose save. You can see here, this video already show here, and then I want to fulfill the kiosk size. You, you can do it whatever size, you, whatever you want. So I just uh, make it full completely fear the kiosk and also I want to choose these three pinches 
add to list and save it. And then you also choose this one, the pinches, and then move to the bottom and you can resize it to fill in the grey part. Okay, by this we can see there's one video playing the kiosk and also pinches show at the bottom. So I should say this name this thing as one and you save it. But this way you see this program hasn't finished the test on the, the name test. So the first the third step I should send this program to the kiosks. Press the send button. Choose which kiosks you want to send this program. So I want to choose this this HD Fox demo, the kiosk, and then I press the send. I choose this program, test program, send to this the HD Fox demo kiosk, and I choose press the submit. And you see here, send successfully, and you press return. And you should check whether this program has finished sending or not. Go to the results. This result will show the status of this program. If this has showed 100% send and operation means that received, this means this program has successfully sent to the kiosk. Okay, when you finish this way, you have finished the uh, small simple procedure to make a small program. The last part is for the monitoring. The monitoring is can you can choose which kiosks you want to check whether is the print state is working or not working or not. So that's all for make a, a program and send it. So it's very simple and very easy to use it. That's all. Thank you.